What's your sneaker fan? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I continue with this video, I do want to say that this video is brought to you by the Sneaker Bible or Swift Cop. If you guys don't know who that is, Swift Cop is the owner of the Sneaker Bible. And basically what it is, it's a Bible for sneakerheads basically. And what it contains is information basically for any sneakerhead reseller or a bot user. It's very helpful for sneakerheads because it gives you information that a lot of people know that you probably don't know, such as where to get shoes, how to get them and other things like that and same thing for resellers it tells you how to resell it really it's, it's a starter guide for resellers as well and also for bot users it helps you choose a bot if you want to become a bot user and overall i would not be promoting it if i didn't think it was useful and if you guys are interested in buying it you could use my discount code which is our sneakers anyways back to the video today i will be showing you guys what a zebra v2 looks like without the heel tabs i know i already did a video on the bread v2s without the heel tab but i figured there's not a single video on youtube with the v2 zebras without the heel tab so i was like why not make it i'm sure you guys like to see it and i would like to as well so that being said this video is actually gonna be pretty short i'm actually gonna tell you guys how to do it which i've already done in the past but i figured why not tell you guys again if you guys haven't seen that video already so i'm sorry this video is kind of short it's just kind of showing you guys exactly how to take this off and what it looks like so to start off all you really need is the shoe itself and an exacto knife of course i mean of any kind it could be a fisker which is my favorite one or you could use the long ones but this one's easier because it is easier to control and manipulate since it is in your finger so to start off what you want to do is basically lift up the back of the heel and then find the stitching that goes to the actual square right here so just lift up a little bit and then you sh it should just you could just see it right there and then just kind of like nibble at it and then eventually it will just give and break like you just saw right there and just keep pulling and cutting until you get it all the way around make sure to pull back and actually cut this part and not the prime knit because then you will make a hole in your prime knit or you will make the little stitchings come out and it won't look good to be safe you can't even go in between right here in between the back part and the front part where it folds so you don't hit the prime knit And once you have one side out, you can go ahead and pull out these strings. And then you're left with that right there. And you can see the square on this one since it is white. And there really is no way to avoid that. And once you're done with that side, you go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. That's the heel tab right there. And once you take it all off, that is your finished product right there, guys. A heel tabless Yeezy V2 Zebra. Before I go, I do want to give a shout out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day is Clorox. Yeah, that's actually his name. I don't know why it's like that, but he always shows love. So I figured let's make a fan of the day. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 50,000 subscribers so I can choose the winner of the easy giveaway that I'm doing. Make sure you stay woke. Our sneaker's signing out. Alcatraz. Peace.